So here we are once again. Thanks for visiting the channel, you guys. So today we're going to be doing something that I've been putting off for a while. Um, I've been, uh, you know, in the midst of doing so much work and doing so many things for so many different people. I haven't been able to make a video. So I actually have partnered with a company called Sense Lab. Um, I reviewed their medium tablet bundle probably maybe five videos, four videos back and came to find out that it was a wonderful product. And the representative reached out to me and was interested in doing a possible partnership. So that's what we're doing in this video today. I'm gonna to be using that medium tablet bundle that I reviewed, and I'm gonna be doing a character illustration of something that is relevant at this time. So um, there's a new Ghostbusters movie that's going to be released. And from the thumbnail, you saw that I'm going to be drawing Slimer, one of the characters from the original Ghostbusters. I believe the new creature similar to Slimer is called Muncher, <coughs> but we're not doing him. We're doing Slimer because that's what I know. I can remember going to see that movie back in the 80s, and man, it was just a hoot. <laughs> it was a hoot. It was so much fun, and I've always wanted to draw him. I actually started a drawing years, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, whenever I heard the movie was coming out, and unfortunately, the computer I was working on, which is an HP, ended up tanking on me, and I lost the illustration. Funny thing is, and this is, you know, kind of tongue-in-cheek, I have had a lot of challenges with this illustration, um, you know, in the past. And challenges being every time I seem to work on it, I have computer issues. It's really weird. Hopefully, that's not going to happen this time, right? So, um, definitely stick to the end because there's something with this partnership that is going to happen at the end. I'm actually partnering with them to do a giveaway of their small tablet. Um, their small tablet uh, bundle comes with the tablet, it comes with two pens, and it comes with a glove, and it's just a great starter kit for those people interested in getting into digital illustration. So, stay tuned to the end, don't fast forward, learn something, have some fun, and definitely stick around to the end so we can get you signed up for the giveaway. Okay? Enjoy. Okay, so after many trials and tribulations of trying to get things right with the PC, and after all the updates, we are finally going to get started drawing. So I've already done a really quick sketch, um, so you guys can see, of the character in question, which is Slimer. Of course, today is the day that Ghostbusters is released nationwide, worldwide. Maybe not worldwide, but nationwide. And of course, next week is Thanksgiving, so I figured I'd do a really quick little doodle of this guy. Now, this is really quick. Probably took me less than 10 minutes to do this. Um, and now we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty of adjusting things and making sure that he's quote-unquote on model. I mean, let's be frank. Does that really look like a hand to you? No. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choke back a little bit on the opacity on this guy and we've added a layer over there on the right hand side um today i'm going to be using uh the uh sense lab medium tablet with the wonderful <laughs> quick key remote programmable and if you're interested in in um this particular setup uh, i do have a video um reviewing this particular product and I love this product. There's so many things that you can do with it. I mean, just you know, going through the prompts, you can click and it's got the brush size for the rotator, layers, you can rotate through the layers, and every time I press the center button, it goes through um, the different prompts. And of course, I've programmed, pre-programmed everything in <coughs> to what I like, and you can do the same thing. And what's really cool, it's very similar to a lot of the other um, interfaces out there, but what's really cool about this is the design language matches the device. So it shows you, you know, you can program the colors, you can add different programs, you can have different setups as far as paint and sketch, and you can add all of these sets and scroll through the sets. You can see set A, so on and so forth. So it's really cool that you can do that. Okay, 
painting. Okay. Boom. And what's really cool is the um, the driver and the dongle that's plugged into the side. You guys can see that on the left-hand side. It senses what program you're in, so it automatically switches back. So, I'm using the thin pin today because I like, I like the feel of the thin pin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and start finalizing my sketch a little bit. Adjusting here and there. It's still going to be loose. Keeping things pretty loose. Now I'm noticing right now that it's a little heavy handed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to that interface. And I'm going to go to the thin pin. And you see that it's set right in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and choke that over here to the right hand side. I like my pin a little bit. See it's set right there. There we go. Now I have a much better pressure curve on here. And you can do that while in theater, you know, while you're sitting here playing with your drawing and you're like, you know, that pressure curve just isn't really feeling good. And you can go back and forth, which is really sweet. So why did I choose this particular character? Well, for one thing, that new movie coming out, the new movie coming out is, you know, a big deal. I mean, a lot of people in this generation, you know, have only known the, um, the Ghostbusters, not only from the Saturday morning cartoon, but from the original. And, um, you know, of course they did have those other, the other Ghostbusters movie, Ghostbusters 2, I believe, which was not really that good. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the guys after that particular movie was made, they were just all like, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore because it's embarrassing, you know. But I'm sure they wanted to give honor to Harold Ramis, who played Egon uh, in the franchise. And to do that, you know, you have to go back and you have to go back to one of the movies that is iconic in his career. Not only was he in Stripes, but he's in quite a few other films, but he was really a writer and he was just a fantastic actor. And I think that this movie really rang true as to, you know, giving honor to where both Bill Murray um, and Dan Aykroyd and, uh, you know, they wanted to really give him honor. Okay, so that's why, you know, that's why I chose him. And two, this character is always one of those fun characters to draw. I mean, he's very simplistic in his design, um, but he's also, I mean, if you, if you start drawing him, you realize there is some complexity there. I originally started doing uh, this particular character. I, I did him very classic on one of my other machines. And unfortunately, you know, I was going to go ahead and 3D sculpt him and and you know offer it up as a as a model because i knew this movie was going to come out i just didn't know when and um my computer <laughs> my computer crashed and i lost everything that was on the machine um and of course me being a pc noob you guys can definitely call me a pc noob i've owned pcs for about six years and well seven years and you know i don't know all the intricacies involved in owning a PC and you know a lot of you guys know that PCs have their quirks and whatnot and I just don't I don't know you know I was always a Mac guy I always worked on Macs and you know Apple products all the way back since 1997 and I always kind of poo-pooed PCs until I got the surface device which I absolutely love and eventually you know grown to really appreciate and love uh, the PCs but occasionally you know occasionally you have those little idiosyncratic things that PCs have. You really have to kind of watch what you're doing. Um, you know, they say, I had a friend of mine say, you know, PCs are great as long as you never update them and never connect them to the internet. So you basically buy the PC and you never update it. 
and, and it never connects to the internet and you'll have a machine that'll run great forever. And, you know, I kind of laughed at him at the time and I'm like, you're insane, dude. How, how, you know, your drivers are going to go out and all the software. He's like, just don't ever update anything. And I'm thinking, man, he was like a, he was like a wizard. He knew exactly what he was talking about. So, okay, what I'm doing basically right now is I'm going back and I'm kind of finalizing the underpaint, the undersketch, which, you know, is, is Slimer. And, you know, with this tablet that I'm utilizing has those 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. And I had somebody recently ask me, say, you know, the one I bought had some issues with it. Um, I've had zero issues uh, with mine, you know. Great people over there at, at Sense Lab sent this tablet to me for, to review, and you know, updating the drivers and getting all the program stuff set up, and making sure that you know all the drivers are up to date and and whatnot. That's just something that you know you have to do. And so far, I really haven't had any issues with it. It's been great. Shift. These teeth right here, kind of you can see a little bit of the tops of them. So I'm going to have them come around, then he's got his tongue. Got that tooth right there. Okay. Now, this sketch is just going to be a really rough template for like a, a, a stylized painting because I want to have I want to do something a little bit different this time you know you guys know on my channel I do a lot of drawing and you know I'm a as a professional career I I am a toy designer I design toys so there's a lot of stuff that I have to do to you know as far as sketch wise to stay on model and you know that terminology involves uh, style guides and style sheets and established character parameters that you have to follow whenever you do toys because you don't want you know Mickey Mouse looking like not Mickey Mouse and <clears throat> you know being able to draw is one of the biggest um, being able to draw well being able to draw well fast um, accurately and keeping things uh, quote unquote on model is something that you know I try to do whenever I do my work but whenever I do something like this it's a little more stylized you know and having that freedom um, I'm not so much uh, worried if I'm a little bit off. <clears throat> so, that is what I'm doing right now. So, being Thanksgiving, what we're going to do, we're going to have a big bite taken out of this. You know, like he just took a bite out of it out of that turkey leg. Have that skin come around. Big turkey leg with a bone coming out the bottom of it. Yeah. It's gonna be cool here. And don't be afraid whenever you guys are doing stuff like this to draw through. It's important that you draw through to gain perspective of where stuff is. And you'll see me a lot of times I'll draw through an entire hand like this finger is going to come around and this particular character his hands he's got some really long fingers so I've got to make sure to include that you know you don't want them to be too far off like especially that thumb really comes around You know, so that hand comes around. And I want to make sure that I have that final pinky coming around right there. So on and so forth. And what I'll do, again, this is, you know, like I said, it is a very rural sketch. Ok, 
Okay. Really, that skin fold comes up and around. He's really just a gelatinous bob blob. I wonder if he has a skeletal system on the inside. Obviously he does, because I can see teeth and I can see jaw and cheekbone. I'm sure that you guys know that the character of Slimer was originally designed uh, after John uh, Belushi. You know, or at least his character in Animal House. You know, whenever he used to stuff his face and, you know, one of the little anecdotes that you hear growing up. Okay, so this comes around. And I am consciously watching. I'm watching as far as where stuff is. I don't think this bottom lip is big enough. So let's go to the eraser. Okay. It's not. The bottom lip is not big enough. Go back. Come around here. And then it starts. And then it comes out. I'm here. And it really comes around. It's big. What I like to do occasionally, especially in the sketch phase, to help help me really think three-dimensionally is, you know, you occasionally you'll see me draw these little construction lines and those construction lines again help me remember, you know, three-dimensionality, think three-dimensionally, you know, height, width, depth, height, width, depth, height, width, depth, I say that ten times. And, you know, doing that again is just one of those little mental practice things that I do. Here's his thumb. Remember, his thumb's long. Comes here. Big. Big nail. He's got this other finger that comes around here. Comes around. He's holding a big ham. Right there. And then it kind of In just a little bit. Got that comes here. Maybe I'll have that other finger right there. Comes here. Okay, so I had a little bit of a hiccup. Sorry about that. My computer actually crashed. Uh, Photoshop completely crashed. And I had to completely reset everything. So it's not a big deal. Um, this occasionally happens, you know, whenever you have a program that you've just updated and maybe sometimes uh, a driver didn't update or a driver didn't load or something along those lines. So that's basically what happened. No big deal. So as you see, I'm just going through and finalizing, not really finalizing, but I'm kind of pushing and pulling some of these forms here and there. Um, you know, I did download reference for Slimer. There's a whole plethora of reference, not to mention people over the years have actually 3D sculpted this guy. So you have a nice library of screen, you know, screen stuff. And this is more or less not so much a exact representation of Slimer, but more or less a stylized version. And I like, I like doing that. And what I'll do is once I get this fleshed out, I will go back and I will kind of push and pull either using the uh, warp tool or the liquify tool to kind of again push and pull those forms you know here and there and you know I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do that now here what I'm doing is just again trying to get things to where I like them and I could basically spend a while on this you know um doing stuff like this so one of the reasons why i wanted to do this was because obviously the movie that is um that is out got released and i can definitely say that i have been a fan of this franchise for quite a while watching the original movie probably 
I don't know. I couldn't even surmise. It's one of those movies like Star Wars that you watch over and over and over and over again. You know, maybe you see it on television and you're like, oh, I like this movie. I would say maybe a hundred times I've seen this movie. And that's just, you know, because I am a little bit older. And I do remember seeing it in the theater and it was just super hilarious. And of course, over the years, as you mature, you get the jokes different, <laughs> you know. Um, all the young people that are going to watch Ghostbusters having that new experience, especially uh, not only this movie, but also the afterlife, because, you know, they'll have a better relationship to the characters in afterlife than they do the original. <clears throat> um, and then, of course, it'll rekindle the original movie, which will get more and more... Um, more and more views, more and more accolades, more and more uh, press and whatnot. And you know, it's funny. I watched, I was watching uh, Jimmy Fallon the other night, and of course, it had Ernie Hudson, um, Bill Murray, and Dan Aykroyd on. And those guys, you know, are quote unquote film legends. They've been around for a while, uh, and you know it's neat to see how they really have a respect for this franchise. I know that for the longest time they didn't want to do it. And then there is that ill-fated reboot they tried to do with the girls, which was completely fine. I thought it was okay. It wasn't a great movie. But it was just fun to see, you know, a Ghostbusters movie. And, you know, Dan Aykroyd did make an appearance in that movie as a cab driver, which was interesting. So... You know, it's just fun to watch the guys and, and you know, being together. <clears throat> and, you know, again, this is one of those characters that is fun to draw. It's, you know, i got a relationship with it. Saturday morning cartoons, for those, you know, in the 90s, they tried to do like a reboot then with, uh, you know, with the animated feature, which was super fun. And this is, you know, kind of goes along with, who he was, Slimer, he was kind of like their their mascot, you know. So that's where I'm at with this piece. I think what I'm going to do, just so I can get some kind of semblance of decency when it comes to rendering, I probably um, put you guys on a little bit of a time lapse. I might come back here and there just to give me an update of what's going on and, you know, how things are going. Um, so, all right, and again, you know, I'm just putting simple shadows and simple little elements in here to help me whenever I go back and I redo uh, my sketch. This is not my final sketch. Okay, and I said that to say this, you know, that right there obviously is not my final sketch. Um, what I'm doing now is going back and, and putting in a little bit tighter line. I still want to keep it loose. Kind of that fun painterly sketch feel. You know, maybe a field, um, a field sketch in a sketchbook or something like that. Um, you know, and that also kind of lends itself to my style. My style is not really super tight. It's it's always gonna you're always gonna see that construction line or something that shows a little bit more character than just going in with a super tight ink line and making everything super tight. That's just not who I am. Kind of always been that way. I've always had my love and passion for the drawing and the sketch and you know I've occasionally had to do the um, you know the really tight rendering but I just I really like I like the sketch so that's what I'm doing. I'm going back I'm making little adjustments here and there um, and dealing with a computer issue. Actually, it wasn't the computer. It's, it's definitely Photoshop. Photoshop is one of those programs that sometimes, whenever they make updates, it kind of slaps you on the hand. And unfortunately, I deleted all the other versions off of here. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that in the future. So, um, yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Just going back, you can see me finalizing some of those lines and some of the little intricate things. And, of course, you know, looking at reference... Making sure that I stay on model, making sure that, you know, I put the creases where they need to be and the lines and the variation of line weight and changing the teeth. And, you know, these are little things that uh, I'm sure 
other YouTubers don't really show you, um, but I just want to make sure you understand that drawing is a process and it does take time. And sometimes the tools that we use give us hiccups. And that is precisely what happened. As you can see, I'm working on a completely different computer. The tablet is the same. I'm still working on that Sense Lab medium tablet bundle with the quick key remote that you don't see over on the left hand side working furiously. Um, but I did have to switch over to the Surface book because the Lenovo, the Photoshop on there was the latest version and my Surface had, um, I believe, version 19 of Photoshop. So I actually had to go back to version 19. My apologies for that glare on the screen. My Surface Book doesn't have a screen protector. So I'm blocking in the color right now, and I'll be moving on to texture and rendering next. Yeah, so what I'm doing, you know, just to further explain uh, before I put you guys, you know, into music land as you watch me, block in the color, you know, putting in local color that's color without any lighter shadow on it, it's basically, you know, similar to how we used to color, you know, coloring book pages. Just putting stuff in, you know, it's pretty mundane. There are a lot of ways that different illustrators and artists do this, but, you know, whenever it comes to time and saving, this is just one of the ways that, you know, I have the ability to do this. Um, it's not very exciting, that's why <laughs> you see a lot of artists that'll kind of breeze through this process. But if you look over on the right hand side on the bottom, you'll see that I do like to use my layers. And layers are important whenever you're compositing things and want to keep things separate. You know, as you see over on the left hand side, I keep switching back and forth to reference um, as I progress through and seeing, you know, what decisions I want to make. This is kind of a combination of of the cartoon version and the realistic version um and as you know i'm putting the background i didn't want it to be too situational maybe he's trans you know coming through a portal you know and he's coming for thanksgiving you know thanksgiving dinner that's kind of my mindset you know and the next thing you see me do is i'll put in the shadows and whenever i come back um you know i Definitely explaining, you know, how and why I do certain things is important, but sometimes it's just fun to sit back and enjoy the process, right? So sit back, enjoy the process, and, uh, you know, we'll talk about it at the end, okay? <laughs>
here's where we landed with the illustration. Slimer getting ready for Thanksgiving. He has a ham and he has turkey. Man, I had such a good time with this illustration. Slimer is definitely one of my favorite characters from the Ghostbuster series. You know, I, I've got just an affinity for science fiction and comedy. When you merge those two entities together, man, you just can't go wrong. Um, so we're here at the very end of the video and we're going to talk about the giveaway. So the people over at Sense Labs contacted me and they said, hey, we'd really love to pair up with you and give something away. And I said, awesome. You know, I love giving stuff away. I've given tons of stuff away in my life. And what better way to really give thanks for what you have than to give something away. So they are going to actually um, give away this. This is, if you can see because of the glare, there we go. This is their tablet small. And, you know, it says tablet small, but it doesn't, it doesn't have, it, it's not small on value, put it that way. Um, you know, the, the, uh, it's just basically a smaller version of their medium tablet. So what do you get whenever you get this? You get the tablet, which is basically an active area of 6.93 by 3.89 inches. You know that sounds small, but it's really not. It's a great traveling companion. And it also comes with a pen case right there with two pens. That's pretty sweet. Two pens with... Um, you know, with the accessories, it's 60 or 60 degrees of tilt, over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, lag-free tracking, 2D and 3D design, and it's wireless or wired, so that's pretty cool. Um, it also comes with a carrying case, so you can see the carrying case right there. Um, you know, it's just, it is a great companion for those of you who are on the go who want to go out and sketch and you don't want to have a ton of wires with you and uh it says it's got how many hours 16 hours of battery charge which is pretty awesome and of course it does use wireless technology um for um you know for the button so it's a three button pin and it has an eraser um so how do you get it? So all you have to do, first of all, you got to make a comment on the video, right? Make a comment on this video right here. Hey, pretty cool. Hey, not so cool. Hey, I like Ghostbusters. Hey, whatever. Make a comment on the video and it would be even better if you shared and definitely click that notification bell. Second of all, Go to your favorite social media. I am an Instagram person. I do have a Twitter account, but I'm mostly uh, on Instagram. And what I recommend you doing, first of all, the hashtag that you're going to have to use to be considered for the giveaway is hashtag Sense Labs Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I'm not going to require that you hashtag me per se, but definitely hashtag the Sense Labs Thanksgiving um, hashtag. So uh, how many times did I say hashtag like four in, in one sentence? That's ridiculous. Um, so that being said, it's important that you do either Twitter or Instagram and it'd be great if you did both, you know, since labs is one of those companies that's up and coming, they're climbing that huge mountain of, uh, you know, the corporate recognition and brand recognition. And, you know, they don't have as much recognition as let's say your Wacom or your XP pen. Little known fact is that as Sense Labs is actually, um, they were founded by uh, ex engineers and um, corporate uh, bigwigs from over there at Wacom. So basically, you're getting, you know, some of the greatest technologies that have been around for over 20 years. You're getting them in a in a in a in a, a lower price point, and you know, just from my experience with them, guys, the fit and finish and the quality. And the branding and, and the design language, everything is just so cohesive. It's it's definitely one of those brands you need to consider. And if you're like, bruh, I don't, you know, I don't use one of those standalone tablets that's like in front or on the right hand side. I don't do that. You know, I, I need to have myself a screen tablet. Let me tell you something. I use screen tablets. And right now, Sense Labs is developing a screen tablet. That makes my eyes almost explode out of my face. 
So <laughs> definitely, if you want to get your hands wet with the Sense Lab product, do that hashtag. And man, imagine if you got if you got this tablet and then, you know, you started making incredible artworks and, and the Sense Lab reached out to you, you know, who knows? You might get your hands on one of those display tablets later on. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it's a good company and this is a great opportunity for you to not only get the word out about Sense Lab, but also, um, you know, possibly get your hands uh, on one of their one of their products, their swag. So, um, what else? Gosh, there's so much. Thanksgiving. When is the giveaway contest, quote unquote, going to end? Um, I'm going to probably choose uh, choose the winner uh, on Thanksgiving Day. You know, if you're interested in um, my social media, I'm trying to find my phone. Um, on my social media, um, over there at Instagram, it's at Michael Clarida. I believe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't, you know, whenever I log in, it's so funny, whenever you log in. Um, let's see. Yes, my Instagram is at Mike Clarida. Okay, so that being said, definitely, um, you know, keep an eye out. Go over to my Instagram. That's where I'm going to announce the winner of the Sense Lab giveaway. And whenever, um, you know, whenever I do uh, get that um, get that choice made, I will be messaging uh, that particular person and uh, and Twitter. I don't know what I am at Twitter. My Twitter handle is going to be at Michael Clarida and definitely go over there and follow me or subscribe to my Twitter so you can find out who wins this Sense Labs giveaway. So definitely enter and you may, you may win. I don't know. You, you may win. You may not. You probably will not win. But you know what? You never, ever will win unless you participate. And, um, you know, I'm always one to participate. So I can't remember how many thousands of contests that, that you know, I've participated in my life. So um, Thanksgiving, you know, next week. Look for that. All right, guys, that's it. Kind of rambled on at the end there, but we're finishing strong. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Definitely hit that notification bell because if you don't and the comments don't go over a certain number, you won't even know that I posted a new video. So that being said, thank you guys and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.